Good evening, I'm meteorologist Grant Skinner with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team here with a tropical update. On this Saturday, September 2nd, a lot of activity in the tropics. Post-tropical Idalia, Tropical Storm Gert, Tropical Storm Katia, and a tropical wave expected to push off into the Atlantic over time and have some slow development, something we'll watch over time. Um, overall, though, no effects of the News 5 viewing area in the northern Gulf Coast, but just something to watch uh, over the next several days. Post-tropical Idalia, moving east-northeast now at 7 miles per hour, 60 mile per hour maximum winds. It will eventually weaken and bring a little bit of impact to portions of the maritime provinces of Canada, but not going to have any effect at the U.S. It's just kind of slowly making its way off to the northeast and will impact portions of those provinces into the latter portion of the next work week. Tropical storm Gert moving north-northeast at 9 miles per hour will eventually move off to the north, and this is going to weaken over time. Again, no impacts to the U.S. This is uh, slowly weakening, and now pressure is almost at 1,000 millibars. And Katia, now 60 mile per hour winds. It will move off to the northwest and weaken over the next few days, becoming just an area of low pressure by uh, 1 a.m. Tuesday, 30 mile per hour winds, just weakening over time. So these are weakening systems. But one system we will need to watch over time is this system. As a tropical wave off the west coast of Africa, it has a chance for a development, a high chance now over the next seven days. Low chance in the short term, but in the long term, this will be something to watch as it could have some slow development over that prime zone for tropical development in portions of the uh, trop subtropical Atlantic. So something to watch over the next several days. We're, of course, nearing the peak of the hurricane season. It's now September 2nd, and the peak, of course, is at September 10th. So it's not out of the ordinary to see a lot of activity like this. So just something to track over time as we track the Atlantic Basin throughout the remainder of the hurricane season. You can also track it yourself in the hurricane map room. Just go to WKRG.com and go to the weather tab. Go to the hurricane map room. You'll see it underneath that tab. And this has all the current tracks for all the systems in the Atlantic. We're tracking all of them throughout the season, and you can track them, too online and you can of course get the latest updates on WKRG.com as well. I'm meteorologist Grant Skinner, WKRG News 5.